Back into the coach's corner now. Here's part two of Bill Shank's conversation with Northside head football coach Kevin Kinsler. I was born from the bottom to race to the top. I was born from the bottom to race to the top. I was born from the bottom to race to the top. I'm going to keep on climbing. Well, the Northside defense was really good last year. They kept opponents to 10 or fewer points eight times. Obviously, uh, uh, always a staple for, for Northside. Coach Kinsler is back with us here. Five starters back, but boy, again, like on offense, I mean, you've got to replace your leading tackler in Cam Burnett, Tay Daly, uh, just a, a lot of players. Are you confident uh, in, in the candidates that you have that can assume more responsibility for you? Well, Cameron Tate is going to move over from the bandit position and, and, and take over for uh, Cam at the Mike linebacker. And we've had, we have some other linebackers, Cam Williams, that is going to step up. He got a lot of playing time last year. And uh, secondary-wise, like Tay Daly, we have a, a couple of young men like uh, Tubby McCall, who played a lot at the end of the year last year, started all the playoff games. And uh, we have a good mixture of experience mm -hmm. to go along with the inexperience on defense, which is something we don't have on offense. Mm -hmm. But uh, the thing that we do on defense throughout the entire season is we rotate our front line and linebackers every four plays regardless. Mm -hmm. So by the time we get to week four and five, we've got a lot of guys with playing experience. And uh, again, we got some guys, uh, only five guys coming back, but we've got some guys that have actually played. And it's so, just a little different being in the fire. So uh, um, unlike some coaches who only have a couple of stars coming back and don't know what to expect, I mean, you have some expectations with some of these kids who are going to get larger responsibilities, don't you? Well, on the defensive side of the ball, probably a little bit more where there's less uh, anticipation about what we're, what we're getting. Okay. Offensively, it's a lot different. Uh, we're not real sure what we're going to get until we line up and start playing with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, you'd like to have a little clearer perspective. And, and one thing, when you have people like Tobias and Cam and Caleb and Tay Daly, those are, we have about seven guys that were three-year starters for us. Yeah. And now they're gone. So we have a good bunch of kids, but they're all trying to feel their way along right now because mm -hmm. they're used to having those other guys leading them. So we're still looking for those bell cows, so to speak, those mm -hmm. guys that sort of, you know, take everybody and, 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 and say, hey, follow me. And... Uh, I think once we get those guys, uh, I'm not sure how good we can be. And I tell our kids we can be, uh, we can be pretty good or we can be really bad. It's just a lot of it depends on how those unknowns and un intangibles uh, play out. Oh, absolutely. Those leaders, you have to have them. And uh, most winning teams, winning programs always do. We'll see if Northside can this year. Of course, the first game, August the 18th, against Warner Robins. Coach Kinsler, thank you. Thank you so much for having me.